What it do people, it's your boy JDub and I decided to give you a, a little rant. Even though I should be working on the Whack Rap Tuesday, I got the first verse done, literally that's all I got done since yesterday. I mixed it, mixing is the problem. So I got all the mixing done, so all I gotta do is record it. I gotta get a little rant off my chest. Rants! I already made the one where I said I was done with women, which is all the rude ass looks I get for giving simple compliments. But this shit has been eating me up and I really needed to get this off my chest. It's, uh, it's just been pissing me off. Alright, so last week, I went to Carl's Jr. early in the morning, probably around like 9 or 8, something like that. I wanted to get the two sausage, egg, and biscuit sandwiches, breakfast biscuits, for $3. So I went there. I've been living in this apartment for 8 years. I've been going to that, that Carl's Jr. quite a few times. So I pretty much know how shit works there. If you walk in and there's somebody already in line, then you kind of stand like 5 feet to the left. Kind of where the entrance comes from around from behind the desk because they have no soda machine in the back so they have to walk up front every time in order to fill up the sodas so nobody stands directly behind somebody in line because there's traffic so what we do is we stand kind of around five feet away from away from it which is probably around this far and we stand around right here you probably can't see me but that that's about how far we stand like we know, the person knows you're in line. So what happens is I walk in there, the chick's already helping somebody, she sees me. We make eye contact. So I walk exactly where everybody fucking does. Even people walk behind me in line, they do the exact same thing. They don't, I, they don't stand directly behind them, just to let you know. People know this. We, we, there's too much traffic there. So we make eye contact and I'm standing there, you know, hands in pockets. I'm just chilling. She gets done taking the guy's order. She looks at me while walking away and doesn't think, doing things behind the counter. It's loud. It's a lot of a lot of shits happening. It's the morning time, so they're trying to cook things and get things up, and somebody's making a shake or a frap or whatever, and there's lots of noise going. So I stood there for a good three and a half minutes. Anybody know standing for three minutes is quite a long time, but I'm chill. I'm hungry. I'm um cool. The people in line behind me are getting a little impatient, but I'm chill. Another minute passed by. Some homeless chick walks in from the door on the other side of the restaurant, zooms there, goes straight net in front of the register. Remind you, I'm around right here, okay? She walks from over here, straight looks at me, walks straight up to the register. The woman jogs from what she was doing to help this woman. I'm still chill, but the few people in line behind me are not fucking happy. And they come up to me and be like, hey, aren't you in line? I'm like, yeah. And they're like, hey, what the hell is that? I'm like, I, I don't know, she's just helping her. And they were like, well, you've been in line since we've been here. It's like four minutes, what the fuck has happened? I'm like, chill, I'm, I, I'll get, I'll just wait. She's like, wow, wow. I'm like, chill, mm, cool. And we kind of whispered this, as I said, it's loud. She couldn't hear the conversation. Because though we're five feet away, it's way too loud. She's helping somebody, there's a lot of shit. Plus it's a whisper. Plus it was nothing disrespectful. So after she's done helping that person, I just walked up to the register while she was doing some things. She looks up at me. And here's, here's the thing. When I first walked in there, she was very nice to the first guy that she was helping. Okay? She's like, hey, how are you doing today? Blah, 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 what, what have you. The woman who walks in the line, she was also nice. She's like, oh, how are you doing today? Blah, 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 blah. The moment I walk up, okay, it changes from that to, what do you want? I'm, I'm not making this shit up. I, her whole fucking attitude, her whole demeanor, everything fucking changed the moment she started talking to me. I, I cannot make this shit up. It's like, what do you want? And I was kind of taken aback by it, but I'm like, fuck it, I'm, I'm tired, whatever. I asked her, hey, do you still have the two for three sausage egg and pit? She cuts me off, yeah, we do. I'm kind of like, oh, the people in line behind me are like, what the fuck? So I'm like, okay. Well, I'll take that. And I reach in my wallet, I pull out a five. She snatches the five out of my hand. She didn't take it, she literally just mm, puts it in the register, does that, give me the change, then give me the little number card, whatever. Then she goes back and does a few things, so I stand. To the, to the left again, right there, stand another to the left, but not exactly where they are, just slightly to the left. So she does a few things for like a minute, then she takes some of the biscuits which were already made and put them in the bag, and here you go. And I leave. Why? This is probably like a 29 year old Hispanic chick that I've never fucking seen, never met, don't know her sister or her cousin, know nothing about this woman whatsoever. She was already nice to the few people ahead of me, but when I get in line, it's totally just rude as fuck.
I guess that's fucking normal? Huh? Rude as shit for no reason. That's what we're doing. Hashtag be rude as fuck for no reason. Okay? Whatever. Fuck it. That wasn't the most recent one. The most recent one was last week I went to go and apply for healthcare. There's this uh, healthcare office that was having a little thing where you can go and apply for healthcare. Long story short, I get there, it's at night, it's like 30 minutes before they stop doing it or close down, whatever. It's, they close at 7 p.m., so I got there around 6.30 p.m. It's raining and wet and everything, got water all on me, whatnot. It's kind of relevant. I walk up the stairs and I see a guy right here and a few women standing over there. So I walk in and they look at me and say, hey, are you here for the healthcare? I said, yeah, I'm here for the They're like, yes. All you gotta do is go around the corner. So I walk in and I'm standing by this this guy and he looks at me and says, hey, your glasses. I say, yes. He says, V nice. I've never heard very nice said like that before and it actually threw me off for a split second because I was like, what the fuck does that mean? I was like, oh, very nice. So instead of giving him the what the fuck look that I always get when I give a compliment, I gave him the smile. I said, hey, thanks. He gives me kind of like this look back, and here's the part that I, I can't make this shit up. I cannot fucking make this shit up. The cute white chick across to my right, probably like seven feet away from me against the wall. She goes, yeah, well, I can see you, you rocking those glasses. I think you'd look better. And so I take a few steps, and I kind of look back at the guy, and he kind of chuckles. He goes, ha, <laughs> ha. I can't make that shit up. I don't know this woman, but she's gonna tell that guy that this nigga's gonna look better than me in my glasses. Even he gave a look of, what the fuck did you just say? I can't, look, I can't make this shit up. I don't know this woman, but she already said this nigga's gonna look better than me in my glasses. Dead ass. It wasn't even a joking matter. It is dead ass serious. I think, yeah, I can see you rocking those glasses, and I think you'd look better. Even he gave, like, an awkward, <laughs> What the fuck, look, what, why? What, and, and, ooh, why? I don't know you when you already just said this nigga would look better than me in my glasses. Who does that? I haven't been in here for 30 fucking seconds, and you've already dissed my looks. Dead ass. Even this nigga, even he had a weird look on his face after you said that. I can't make this shit up. Who says that? Who? Who, who does that? That's that random ass act of fucking disrespect. It's rude. You want to rude as fuck for no reason. Why don't you ignore me in line? The other one's going to sit there and say, oh, you look better in those glasses. Who, who does that? I can't make this shit up. Who does that? Who the fuck does that? And no, it wasn't in a joke. Don't be like, oh, she was, no, she was dead ass serious. That nigga even had a weird look on his face. That's how you know it wasn't a joke. He even said, <laughs> As I said, it's, it's, it's something about my aura when women come in my vicinity, it's just rude is normal. To the point where other people, people online behind me are seeing what the fuck is going on. The guy right there who gave me a compliment on my glasses, he sees what the fuck is going on. Nigga, all I wanted was something to eat. And I got disrespected. All I wanted was healthcare. And I got disrespected about my looks. And the nigga was ugly. That's what pissed me off. He's ugly as shit. He won't look better in my glasses. He look ugly. Fuck y'all, man. I don't write about this shit. Fuck done. What a rude as shit, bro. All I wanted was something to eat. And all I wanted was health care. And I gotta get disrespected and shit for no fucking reason. Didn't give a compliment, wasn't flirting, wasn't trying to get to know you, but got disrespected in line for no reason and got told that an ugly motherfucker would look better than me in my glasses. You women are a fucking trip. I'm, I'm cool, man. There's been another rant. Enjoy that shit. Y'all are assholes, man. To me, at least. I can't speak for nobody else, but y'all be treating me like absolute shit. All I want to do is stuff my face and make sure I don't have a heart attack after I stuff my face. And I got to get disrespected both times. Fuck y'all. Fuck y'all. Dreaming about a big Paris world. Woke up and bought it the same day. I never grew up in Paris, but... 
I was raised up by some Paris maids. Fuck a ghost spoon in my mouth. I was born into a diamond made house. Keep talking shit and I will buy your spouse. And now she is all on me in your favorite blouse. A new pedigree that I'm in. Busting through new walls, no hiven. I'm kinda hungry for some sushi. So I guess I'll fly to Japan. Five states like steaks. Ooh boy, I need a prime one. I want a thick red bone. I guess I'll buy Kelly and just summon one. Yes, I'm a pizza man, cause I got all this damn doubt. All up in my car, wood grains made by Geppetto Diamond crest and AK, and it's aimed right at your throat You ain't never seen an ostrich feather trench coat Wake up, take a shower, there's no water, I'll use money Now I'm in the kitchen, there's no food, I'll eat money Then I'll brush my teeth, there's no